All players uh, have to engage with games. What's this? A lot of people don't give the game what the game needs. Unfortunately, you do sometimes need to give a game a chance. I have a friend who started playing Baldur's Gate 1, 2, and 3, and they were like, oh, yeah, I, I didn't get into it. It wasn't very good after the first hour. I'm like, okay, what'd you do? Oh, I just ran around, died a lot. Did you read your spells? No. It's telling you? I don't read. I just play the game. I don't want to read anything. If I have to read anything or learn anything, that's too much. I play this game, I want to fucking kill people with a lightsaber. That's it. You talk to NPCs? No. Did you do anything that, that would add energy from you to the game? No. Oh, huh. all right, cool. I can I can see why this is not working for you then. As you don't read, I don't like reading. I, I just want to play a game. Anything complicated, I don't want to deal with it. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. And if they didn't enjoy that, that's okay. But there is this, there is a back and forth. I think there is a back and forth between you and the game. There is an understanding that at some point you need to put energy in in order to get something out. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't even read what anything does. You have a sword. Reading is for losers. Winners win. They don't read. And most people want to be passive consumers. Maybe this is what it is. Maybe because we're all jaded MMO vets, because we've seen films and we've seen TV shows and we've read books, and because nothing is novel to us anymore, we now sit here and we want to be passive kind of consumers of fun instead of active participants in the process. Does anyone I think that there's elements of that that are very true. So, like, for example, is that whenever I look back at Lost Ark, for example, or, like, Final Fantasy, I enjoyed the game a lot. And the reason why I enjoyed it a lot and the story of the game is because I played through the entire thing and I wanted to invest myself into the game and I put a lot of effort into doing that. Now, there are other games where, like, I don't really do that. Why did you not do the quest in Starfield? You want to know the real reason why? It's because I think the entire story of the game is fucking garbage. I think the characters are boring. You didn't play the story, though? Well, I played, uh, like, five hours. Like, I'd say, like, realistically, about five hours of the story. And I listened to the dialogue, and I did that. That's a cap. How far am I in the game? Watch your footing around here. I don't even know what, what game are you even talking about. Sure. Do you mean, like, the story? Because I have no idea. I forgot that, like, we even were doing that. And after five hours... I didn't find it to be interesting at all. Does anyone feel that you've got to a point now where mm -hmm. you know you're not putting as much energy in? You know that you're not engaging as much because you've not got as much free time. You've not got as much energy. Yeah. You don't need to engage because Wikipedia will tell you what to do. You don't need to read because a YouTube guide will tell you what to do. You don't need to talk because GroupFinder will do it for you. So that... You have no reason to engage with an MMO beyond a surface level connection and then you wonder why you have a surface level connection. You engage as little as you need to and then you wonder why you're not getting back what you had when you engaged more. Sucks, but at some point you very much do need to say, right, I'm going to connect with this. Will I play Baldur's Gate 3 on stream? No, because I want to enjoy it. There it is. So yeah, um, engage what though? I, I think that it's always a give and take. And I, I find this to be interesting because I think there's a lot of truth to this, but I think that there's also the element where like, if a game doesn't motivate you to want to engage with it, I think that also can be a shortcoming of the game. And that's what I was saying about like some games just not being for some people. And it's not that this game is a bad game. It's just that, this isn't what you're looking for in a video game experience. But Josh is right that there's like a give and take where it's like you have to meet the developer in the middle. You can't expect the game to be like exactly what you want it to be.